All right. This is going to be a video talking about this pet go to video, which shows their plan. Uh, I want to say from the jump, I am not trying to promote this material. I'm trying to expose and oppose this agenda that is portrayed in this pet go to video. Uh, this video has a definitive correlation, a presentation that correlates to Revelation chapter 12. That's what they want you to think. Uh, and it started back in 2017. I'm not going to go through all that. You can watch my older videos. But the whole Revelation 12 sign, uh, the woman clothed with the sun, the moon under her feet, you know, that's, that's what this uh, correlates to the woman clothed with the sun, because this correlates to the eclipse. The, the, the namesake behind the video is Heliophant, which is a composite of helio, which relates to the sun, and font, which is a suffix, which means speaking. So this means the sun speaking, right? And what they're trying to relate it to is... Helios, which is the sun deity, who is also Apollo, who is also Apollyon, who is talked about in Revelation 9-11 as the king over those in the abyss. Uh, they're trying to say this is a prophetic message from Helios. And they're going to say Helios is Jesus. Okay, that is their message. So when it says Heliophant, this relates to the sun. Let me make sure everybody can see me. This relates to the sun. This depicts an eclipse, the dark center, the light around the sun during an eclipse. Hey, can you guys hear me and see me okay? Is everything good? I'm just getting a uh, quality check here. What's up, everybody? What's up, Steve? Just trying to make sure you guys can see me and hear me. Good on my end. All right. All right. All right. So the Helio font here, Helio font correlates to the sun, the sun speaking. That's what they want you to think. Now, this, the noise that it makes whenever this plays, it's like a tomb opening up and this circle ascending to the eclipse okay and that correlates to this whole scene right here with the eclipse and that dot is an upside down presentation of this which is the eclipse and the dot which is kind of leaving a trail behind it as if it's moving toward the girl all right all right I just got to make sure I'm sharing appropriately. Um, so this is supposed to be the eclipse. So what does that mean? It's a girl sitting on an eclipse. They tie that into Revelation chapter 12. Where there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun. Okay. She got the sun around her. Let me make sure I'm still sharing. She's got the sun around her. That's the light of the sun during the eclipse. And it says and she has the moon under her feet and a crown of 12 stars on her head. Now it's it's multi-layered, uh, but that's what it correlates to. It goes from Bush's presidency to Obama's presidency. It gives you a sequence here. It's a timeline. So Bush was president. Obama becomes president in 2008. And this video actually came out in 2012. And then it proceeds from there to show Trump. Now, that correlates to Trump. I'm not going to get all into that. If I would have thought about it, I would have pulled it up. But you can just look up Trump sitting and you'll see, you know, the swoop with his hands in his pyramid down position. It even spells out, if you will, Trump above his head. Uh, that's what it correlates to. It shows the next president. So it goes from Bush to Obama, and then it shows Trump. Well, Trump became president in 2017. So this brings you into the year 2017. 
And these are supposed to represent months as well. It scrolls around. Bush does that. And I, the Lord showed me this, man. I was tempted one day. This is a true story. Like I was really tempted to do something that I shouldn't have done. And it was a struggle, but I was just praying and praying. And I, and I just uh, went and got in the shower and uh, I came out and it's like, it, like a, an epiphany, like uh, Bush is pointing to these months. He's giving you the order to take these months in. Now he says, fool me, can't get fooled again, right? And you see on the wall, there's an F minus. Well, what does fool me, can't get fooled again correlate to? The name of the video is Pet Goat 2. Now he's sitting in a classroom, right, with the teacher and the students. That's what he was doing on 9-11. George Bush was sitting in a classroom on 9-11 where the teacher was. They're reading a story called The Pet Goat. Okay, so that's what was happening on 9-11. So when he says... Fool me, can't get fooled again. This is the sequel to 9-11. Fool me once. He actually, when he says fool me once, he looks over here where New York is. I'm not going to go through all that. You can look at old videos if you want to. And then when he says can't get fooled again, so he says fool me once, shows the things that related to the first 9-11, if you will. Can't get fooled again. And then he starts relaying information about their plan regarding the sequel to 9-11. And he says, can't get fooled again. And then he points over here, close to the wall. I'm going to slow it down. He scrolls through and then he comes back. He comes back, not all the way to the wall, but closer to the front, right? Closer to the middle. Well, what he did was he scrolls through all the way over here, and then he comes back here or, you know, presumably here. I, he, he scrolls across and comes back here, but I've always said he scrolls across, comes back here. Well, that's the ninth month. So you got – uh January, February, March, April, May, back row, June, July, August, and then September. And so taking this as September, which the 2017 sign related to between September and October, at least that's what they said, the Revelation 12 sign, that's what they correlated that to. So I've always said this is September, this is October. In between those two months, that's where she sat, where you had the woman clothed with the sun moon on her feet so that's the revelation 12 sign now what is going on here she's in between september and october so i you know if if you i suppose you could say he just points at the girl but i've always related this to september this to october he scrolls through he comes back now She's sitting there now. She is sitting. This is this is what just tells you what she represents as far as the timing goes, because not only is she sitting in an eclipse, OK, but it is an eclipse that is made out of honey. She correlates to Israel. She ties into Rosh Hashanah, which they always celebrate with apples and honey. And this semi-transparent liquid here is made out of honey you can see through it you can see the white square and she has the apple in her hand which that ties into rosh hashanah and i've been i'm not just saying this okay i'm not just saying this stuff because rosh hashanah is here and i'm trying to find something that correlates no i've been saying that correlates to rosh hashanah for years now rosh hashanah is October the 2nd through October the 4th, 2024, okay? And you just look it up, 
Rosh Hashanah and they got apples and honey, apples and honey. That's what they do. They use apples and honey to celebrate Rosh Hashanah. So she's got the apple and the honey. And they eat it to represent a new year because Rosh Hashanah is their civil new year. That's when they start a new year. But she's not eating it. She just drops it. Right. She she doesn't eat it. It's multi-layered, but I'm not going to get into all the, the meaning behind it. But when she drops it, you can even see the honey in her hand. So she definitely correlated to September in 2017, which they want to relate to the Revelation 12 sign, which they say occurred September 23rd, 2017. But in as much as she's sitting in between September and October, she could cross between the two, right? She's in, in between the two, so she could correlate to either. And I think that's why they did that. Well, when she drops the apple, you can see in her hand here, there is a golden hue in her hand. That's the honey. It's the light shining on the honey. So, And there's honey on the bottom of the apple. See the same color liquid. So this transparent, semi-transparent golden liquid, the apple was dipped in it in her hand. That relates to apples and honey. Now, it gets dark, but it's shining on her. We already talked about how this relates to the eclipse. So we got the an eclipse occurring Correlating to Rosh Hashanah, Rosh Hashanah is October the 2nd, and the eclipse that is coming up, and this has never happened in, in all of our years of looking at this video, man. An eclipse is on the same day on Rosh Hashanah, October the 2nd. So Rosh Hashanah, October the 2nd, apples and honey, eclipse, October the 2nd. So when you see her and you have the the eclipse and the apples and honey you got rosh hashanah and the eclipse those two things correlate to one another they tie together rosh hashanah eclipse in october between september and october here rosh hashanah eclipse okay not only that right but when it goes dark like it does during an eclipse well i'm not sure i'm saying i don't see Hello? Um, excuse me one second. So I have to do something right quick. So um, there you, you have it going dark. That's what happens during an eclipse. It goes dark, but she is sitting in between the eclipse and then what is lit up behind her it's emphasizing this rabbit now i'm not going to put too much emphasis on that everybody knows that's a symbol for easter one second all right so what's so significant about this is it's not only an eclipse this is something it's not only an eclipse on rosh hashanah in october okay right where she's positioned these are things i've said for years correlate so it's not i'm not grabbing at straws here okay these are things that i have said for years hold on a second so and also i've pointed this out this guy when he's doing this dance here which shows the sharks anyway. It, it correlates to Russian nuclear submarines, but I'm not going to get all into that. But you can see in the background the Easter Island statue. That's what that is. That's an Easter Island head. If you look up the Easter Island statues, because this is where the east the eclipse is. Just look up Easter Island, and they're going to show you these, these statue heads because that's what it's known for. Look at that. That's what you're seeing in the back. That's what you're seeing behind that guy is, is one of these heads. Okay. I, I think that's pretty obvious. I don't want to belabor the point. 
you're seeing one of these heads behind this guy. So what does that mean? He's on Easter Island. There, but it, it gets lit up all of a sudden, which is what happens. There was an eclipse that happened here this year. I put it on video. You can see. And when it's when the moon barely moves away from the sun, it lights back up. Well, it's dark there. And then all of a sudden there in Easter Island, it turns light again. Not like a slow sunrise. You know, you could argue, you know, it's a it's a nuke going off or something like that. But. I'm saying, which I've said before, I've always said, that's the eclipse. The sun comes back out. The e he's looking up at it. The eclipse is, is over with. So you got the Easter Island. This is something right here. Easter Island. And I hope you long-term subscribers can correlate what I'm saying that I have said this stuff for a long time. And I'm not saying that to toot my horn. Okay. To God be the glory. If I get this right. Okay. Cause I've got a lot of it wrong plenty of time, but there's some things that I have learned over the years. Cause I've been doing this for years, learned over the years that I have held to because it's like, okay, that's, that's what that means. Let's try to fit it all together. Uh, so you have an eclipse in October, between September and October, where she's sitting, an eclipse on Rosh Hashanah on Easter Island. Okay. Those three things are correlating that date. And I've also talked about how this represents, because when she drops it, I don't know how much I want to get into all this, but she drops it and. I've talked about the dark center with the light around it. It uses hidden imagery like that uh, to correlate to the eclipse. This, this represents, I've, I've talked about it. So long-term subscribers can just verify how this is multi-layered. It's supposed to represent Jupiter being birthed out of the heavenly sign, quote unquote, but it's also just an apple ties into Rosh Hashanah. And they also tie it into other things I'm not going to get into, but I said it represents that which was birth. This represents the eclipse, the dark center, the light around it. And they use the same imagery here where they have the dark center, the light comes around it. And then that which is birthed, the Antichrist pops out with a 666 on his head. Okay. So that's but he's also about to be killed. This ties into a guillotine, okay? The wooden box with a circle in the middle. I think I got that pulled up somewhere. Yeah. The wooden box with a circle in the middle correlates to a guillotine. It's just hinting at that. Uh, so it represents he's birthed, but he's about to get killed. And it correlates to the eclipse. So... That which was birth, which was about to be killed. You got the dark center, the light around it, and this supposed to correlate to that which is birth. Now, what I say correlates to the guillotine. It's just a representation of being killed. It comes over here to this LC, which I'll talk about. And then what happens? Just like a guillotine slices something, what happens? Boom, it gets sliced in half. So that's just correlating to the death of this quote unquote, Jesus child, because that's what they're going to try to tell you he is. This is so important, man. This is their plan. Their plan is rolling out right now, guys. It's been rolling out for years now. They, the, the Heliofont website calls this scene in the video Pieta. This is that child that they're saying is born. This child is, is if, if, through this video. This is the child they're saying is born as a result of that September 23rd, 2017 heavenly sign. And they call the scene of his death Pieta. Well, Pieta is a work of Michelangelo. Pieta 
Mary holding the dead body of Jesus. So what do you think they're trying to say when they say, oh, this dead child, and we're going to call it Pieta? They're telling you this is Jesus. That's what they want you to think. All right, I'm just making sure. Can I get a, a confirmation that everything is good, that, that y'all are hearing me good? Is the audio good? Hey, everybody. What's up, B-Rad? Is the audio good and the screen showing what I'm trying to show y'all? All right, thank you. All right, so, so this, which was birth, comes over here, rolls, gets cut in half. Now, what have we been saying? We've been talking about October 2nd. Now, remember in the Bible, when Jesus died, what happened? The sky turned dark, a great darkness. And they're trying to convince you that this child is actually Jesus. And so it would make sense that they would put his death in relation to his death in, in air quotes, right? Because all this stuff is manipulation, man. This stuff is, and if they say, and I'm just throwing this out there, man, it, it's going to sound crazy. But if they say Meghan Markle had this child, she was never even pregnant. And I've proven that, okay? Keep that under your hat. If it happens, if it, it does, just keep that under your hat, okay? She wasn't even pregnant. All right. But September 23rd, 2017 was the first day that her and Prince Harry went public with their relationship. And it ties into more. I, I've talked about that, but just keep that under your hat. But whoever they say, okay, if, if this plan goes through and they say the Jesus child dies September, or excuse me, October the 2nd during the eclipse, I know it's a narrow window, but if they really want to convince people that this was prophesied, they would want it to be precise, right? So uh, now this, and I've talked about that. I'm not going to get all into this, um, but this is something I will say. Uh, this LC, right, ties into 12.3. We talked about how Revelation 12, 1 and 2, they correlate that. The woman, she gives birth to a child. Well, 12, 3 is where the dragon is introduced. Okay. Now, LC, the inversion, the 12th layer of the alphabet, the third layer of the alphabet, that is the dragon, right? So it goes from Revelation 12, 1 and 2 to Revelation 12, 3, LC. And I'm not just saying that. I've been saying that for years. All right. And um, where is that at here? You can see they call that reptilian figure in the video Draco, which Draco is Latin for dragon. And so what is it? We see in Revelation 12 that it is the red dragon waiting to devour the child as soon as he's, he's born. The dragon stood before the woman, which was ready to be delivered for to devour her child as soon as it was born. Now, the dragon in the video is green. Draco is green, right? Color of money. We'll talk about that. Lord say the same. He's supposed to represent a president. He's color of money because what's on the, what's on the dollar bill, uh, the a face of a president. Well, Draco is puppeting the president in order to get them. They're like his agents, the agents of the dragon, to devour the child. So basically it's saying the U S president, the U S is behind this uh, agenda to kill this child. That's what they're saying. Now, granted Draco is green in the video and revelation says the red dragon, but you see how they slip it in here and put this red hue on them. Look at that red. See how they, they give you these things, but they try to slide it in sly like, right? The red dragon, he's puppeting, the president and the president is wanting to devour the child. He's acting like he's happy about it. And look, the first thing he throws up is 12, one, two, and four. When he goes crazy and looks like he's about to do something. And the, the, the reason why is because revelation 12, four, try to zoom in on that. Uh, and the dragon stood before the woman, which was ready to be delivered for to devour her child as soon as it was born. 
Now, that's what they say this this relates to, right? The dragon devouring the child. So when I was talking in the previous video about this anagram here, and I'll try to get back to the apple, the LC, because it's also a less than C, right? It's a less than sign as well. What is less than three? Two. So, and I've said that before. This is not because I'm trying to say this is October 2nd. Let me find. That's something I've said a long time ago. All right. So all these things are just coming together now. And when that subscriber pointed out way back in like February that the eclipse was what that there was an eclipse on Rosh Hashanah. I was like, what? And then I looked it up and I looked up the trajectory of it and I saw that it went right over Easter Island. I was like, wow, that is it, man. That is what they're talking about. And here we are and the world is going crazy. Uh, man, we are at the cusp, man. Even I hope you're right with God. And if you're not, it's not time to play with God. I've been I've been absent. I ain't even making videos because I've been working on these books, man. And I'm not trying to sell them to you. I'm giving them away for free. Uh, I'll tell you about that. But this this information will oppose the Antichrist doctrine. That's why I've been I've been working my butt off on these books. Hallelujah. And I finished it. You just don't know, man. Nobody knows, man. But the Lord knows. And that's what matters. Right. These blocks come down and. These blocks are colored for a reason. And the, the vowels, the A-E-I-O-U are white blocks, the consonants which are anything besides a vowel in the alphabet, are red blocks, right? Well, if that's the case, then the I in I, comma, pet, goat, two should also be white, but it's not. You see how they slide these things in here? It's red. Why? Because they are trying to slip it in that this is also an H, okay? It's also a capital H. So it's an I, but because it's an anagram and because they it's multi-layered, it's also an H. So they're giving you information. So what did we look at? We saw, and it's, you can barely see it, and then it turns gold. Boom. And the gold is important, too, because now you have these letters. You have the introduction of the two in here. And then it transitions into another scene. Notice they, they all turned gold now and the red and the white is completely going to go away. You got the, the gold there and then you have the introduction of more information. What is this? It retained, it retained the gold letters and the two, but it brings in additional gold letters. Now this is, it looks like a dollar sign. It's not. I mean, he correlates to the dollar it's multi-layered. We could say it's the dollar, but that's not all it's talking about. This is a serpent. You can see the eye. It's a serpent in front of a pole is what it's supposed to represent. Wow. Why? Because they're going to say Jesus is Lucifer. Jesus was the serpent who wanted to rescue you from ignorance. And Yahweh didn't want Adam and Eve to have the knowledge, right? And so that's going to be their theme. And they're going to use, remember these things, man. And I talk about them in John 3.14 in here, the Salvation Bible Commentary. They're going to say that just Jesus says, as the serpent, as Moses lifted up the serpent, so must the Son of Man be lifted up. And so they're going to correlate the two and say, well, Jesus was saying he's, he was the serpent on the pole. And so that's why they're they're trying to use this imagery here. They're, they're going to tie it all together. Now, this serpent on the pole, what does that correlate to? It also correlates to two more letters, right? We talked about these letters turning gold. Now we have the addition of two more letters, which is an I. There's an I back here and an S now. So now we have what is a, an I or a capital H, right? An IS, comma, pet goat two. But these letters, they were blocks flipping all around, right? They were blocks flipping all around. 
So they can be flipped. Notice they're kid blocks too, like it's a kid, right? Because they want to tell you it's a kid. But they're kid blocks. Uh, but they can be flipped around. Now, uh, when you look at this, I kind of made it into, uh, you know, I, 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 I tried to make it where you could see what I was saying. And some of this stuff is just old, so I haven't really updated. But we were talking about Revelation 12 and 4, where the dragon stood before the woman, which was ready to be delivered for to devour her child as soon as it was born. Now, when you bring in the, the I and the S, and you have the I as an H, follow me. If you follow me, I'm not talking out of my head here, okay? Then you have uh, this eight God. This eight God. Because what is it? The dragon waiting to devour the child as soon as he's born. And it shows the dragon puppeting this eight God. And then you have the, this, this, this is something, you know, you can take it how you want it. I have mixed feelings about it. Uh, but or just I comma pet go to is the sequel of 9-11 but he, he has the big X here which is the Roman numeral for what 10 right and then you have the 2 10 2 October the 2nd that's when the eclipse over Easter Island on Rosh Hashanah is happening 10 2 uh, is in here right presumably it's there the numbers are there uh, so what, what is it? If we say this eight God, 10, two, that lets you know, that's the day the dragon eats God, quote unquote, cause it's a lie. Okay. 12 or 10, two. And that corroborates with what I'm saying here. The dragon, this eight God, 10, two shows the dragon, the dragon devours the child, the dragon, eight God, 10, two. On Rosh Hashanah, when the eclipse occurs over Easter Island, that's pretty pretty solid corroboration there. But it also remember we talked about this, Pieta, right? Pieta, and how they say that they call it Pieta, Mary holding the dead body of Jesus. Now. That also, you could, the words spell out Pieta, okay? Pieta, if you take this as an I, which it is supposed to represent an I as well. That's the name of the video, I, comma, pego, two. Uh, so it could be, I just was playing with it, but uh, got Pieta. So it could be, you know, 10 to got Pieta or 10 to with the inclusion of the I and the S. 10-2, Pieta is got. Or 10-2, got is Pieta. Or 10, you, you know what I'm saying? 10 two, comma, got Pieta. Or Pieta is got. So you could include all, every one of the letters and numbers there and have 10-2, Pieta is got, right? Or 10-2, this ain't God. You see how they... What are the odds of that, man, that you got those two available anagrams that use all of the letters and everything in the in the video? And it correlates to the eclipse over Easter Island on Rosh Hashanah, October the 2nd. You know what I'm saying, man? This stuff. And it, the video has showed things ahead of time. Now, I'm not saying it's prophetic. I don't believe it is. But they they have a they have a plan. It is collusion, just like they sold people on. We went to the moon, and they had all the media lying to everybody, and they still lie about it. If you don't know about that, we didn't even go to the moon, man. They lie about so much stuff. They lied about the first nine eleven. They still lie about it. They're gonna lie about this, and they are going to. I mean. 
it's going to be so just the things that I I can see already that they're going to use out of the scripture. People think that the some of the fundamentals of Christianity, i.e. the virgin birth and the Trinity doctrine, they are going to maximize those two things and they're going to feed that right into the Antichrist doctrine. You mark my words, but if you read my books, you'll see you'll see why they're not speaking according to the truth. And that's why I believe and to God be the glory, and I don't put everything at God's feet, but I believe that the timing, because I've been working my butt off on this stuff, man, and now I'm, I'm the timing of this and the realization of what this is talking about with the deadline of it, boom, man, it's like right there. And so I believe this was this is a, a counter to it if people will give heed to it. And that's what I'm pleading with everybody, especially if you're overseas, because I think America is going to be wiped out. Down, I, I, I put in, I don't know if you can see it yet, but in the description box, I already typed it up or copied and pasted it, where you can download the books for free. The PDFs, you can download them for free and share them for free. And you can reproduce the books for free. I, I can't, I don't have a print press. I can't just give them to you. I priced them as low as I could to the penny. Uh, they're free right now. The Kindle books are free on Amazon right now because I did a promotion thing where it's free for five days. That's the best I can do. But I'm trying to give the information out here. I'm trying, you can reproduce the books and keep the money. You can sell them and keep all the money. You don't owe me nothing. All right. M my work is for the Lord. Hallelujah. But Work with me here if you if your mind is for the kingdom of God and to oppose the Antichrist agenda, at least read it. You know, at least read it and compare what they're saying about the Antichrist and what I say in here. And, and if you're convinced that this is true, share it. Don't compromise on it. You know, oppose the enemy. Hallelujah. What was I saying? All right, so. Come over here with the two leaves, the eclipse with the two leaves. Are they saying number two? I've said probably before, you know, that probably represents the number two. because. It... But it goes over here in this. So the less than also, right, the less than three. It also ties into seven, three, but. Not going to get all into that because that's that was it, it correlates to what I was saying about 2017 with the it's it's multi it represents this which is birthed out of the to fulfill Revelation 12 1 and 2 a heavenly sign that correlates to the 7 3 and it, then they say this is also the fulfillment and so it's the presentation of the prophetic and the fulfillment meshed together right so they use the two things so. It's supposed to be that which is birth that comes over here. Less than three, right? It's two. Comes over here. The death happens. Remember what I was saying about the dark center and the light around the eclipse? Boom. The death happens. And what happens? The LC is the dragon, right? 12-3. It falls over into it. it. It gets devoured, if you will. It gets killed. But this half falls onto, I'm not going to get all into it right now, but this, this laying on top of this correlates to this scene right here, the Pieta scene, uh, where it's laying on her lap. Uh, she's in all black. She's supposed to correlate to one of these figures here. I'm not, I don't want to get lost in the weeds here. But she's supposed to correlate to one of these figures uh, that have the warheads in all black with the white stick, uh, the metal tip of the warhead. But she got the white stick here. She's in all black. And the warhead, I don't know if they're saying the warhead's been launched already. But I, anyway, I don't want to get lost in that. But it just it I've, I've made videos on it before. You can go back and watch them. 
So the metal head of the warhead ties into the metal tip of the boot. And she's supposed to represent one of those figures that falls over in her lap. Okay. I know it's his shoe. I know it's his foot. I get it. It's there for a reason. The coin with the British Royal crown is there for a reason. There's a heart upside down heart on it for a reason. Gone through all that stuff. So there you have the eclipse October 2nd on Rosh Hashanah over Easter Island. And then the anagram, this eight God, 10 two or 10 two Pieta is got. You see all that? So what am I saying here? I, I, I think what they are saying is that this antichrist child is going to die, their narrative, October the 2nd, okay? And you see, you see this too, man. You 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 long service subscribers. What what what's here? Boom! This scene right here. What is it? This is a definitive two, man. When you flip it upside down, I, I'll show you right quick. Let me show you. It's so definitive. It's worth me just doing it right quick. Uh, if I can do it right quick. Hold on one second. Snipping tool. Watch this. You take this. What will we say? That it's saying he dies on the second. All right. I think that's copied. So, see, I just finished this stuff, bro. Like, this is this is like <laughs> just finished, man. Uh, all right. So here you go. So that's the scene. Now, what happens when you flip it upside down? A second. Boom, look at that two. Tell me that ain't a two. Tell me that ain't a two. He's dead. The death bandages, that's a two, man. That's a definitive two. This is a two. Well, you could say it's just a number. It doesn't mean nothing. But when you look at everything else and the way that it ties together is the thing. It's not just one thing. It's like a whole thing. You know, it's like a whole theme here. Uh, I'll show you something else, Tyson. I'm going to show you some other stuff, man. So what they're going to say, I, just, I got a headache. Y'all see this? Y'all see this mark on my head? I was stuck up there in North Carolina, man, and I banged my head on a tree. I was trying to move. I was moving logs out of the road as these guys were cutting them. That area in North Carolina by Asheville, which is where I was by. But thank God I got out of there, man. Uh, but man, I got a headache. I've been having a headache ever since I busted my head. Um, anyway, um, so they're going to say he dies. Now, what, what, what is it? Revelation. All right. And she brought forth a man child. Remember he was waiting to devour the child. And she brought forth a man child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron. And her child was caught up unto God and to his throne. This, see, He's devoured, right? He's dead laying in her lap. They say that's Jesus, Pieta. But he was caught up to God and to his throne. They show that in here. The same child with the with the eye. It's all jacked up. It's the same kid, all right? And the, the Muslims will readily say, well, that's the, I think they call it the Dajjal, the Dajjal, the Antichrist. The Muslim Antichrist has the one eye damaged like a grape. Yeah. So, but what is it? he was devoured and caught up to God and to his throne. And that's what they show you here. They're, they're saying, yep, this is Jesus. This is that child that's to rule all nations with a rod of iron. Look, he does the 10, raises his hands up in the two. Same kid with the damaged eye. What's happening to him? He's caught up, quote unquote, to God and to his throne. So they're like, they're they're giving you this Revelation 12 theme here. Right? The woman clothed the sun, moon on her feet, 12 stars around her head. She gives birth. Dragon's right there waiting to devour the child. Child gets devoured. Child gets caught up to God and to his throne. That's what they're saying here. That, and this has been, their Antichrist agenda is rolling out. That stuff started in, in 2017, whenever they said the heavenly sign, the Revelation 12 sign. You guys remember that? Yeah. 
that's what they were get, gearing everybody up for to, to now they're going to try to, which was not even true. It wasn't even a Revelation 12 sign, man. If you look at the facts and I've covered this behind it, that wasn't even accurate. And I've made videos on it. You can go look it up for yourself. You can go watch my old videos. It wasn't even the real Revelation 12 sign. I've made videos on the real meaning of Revelation 12, etc. But they, they're pitching it, man. They're pitching it hard. And if you ain't ready for it, and a lot of my subscribers are God-fearing people. And my, my channel is throttled back, man. I am I am legit like censored heavy. Heavy, man. That's what the little purple figure is. You see my name? Uh, the, the little purple figure bes beside my name with a red flag? That's from YouTube sending me an email saying they were going to cancel my channel if I got another flag. That was copy and paste from the YouTube symbol. Anyway, I got a headache. I'm not going to be on here long. So uh, a healed head one. Yeah, but they're going to say this is something, man. All right, we'll talk about this. Uh, but this is this is what they show, man. The child dies. I've said this, man. Dude, the child dies. And so he's looking down at the child that got killed. And I've said this, and he gets this is showing the child's disembodied spirit now going into the abyss. That's what it represents. He, we come from there. It's not just giving you a pan out screenshot. It's, it's telling you a story that as he is going into the abyss in the afterlife, into the afterlife, America, meanwhile, is in this state. So are they saying that October the 2nd is when the Russian nuclear submarines are going to bring about all this chaos. And then electricity goes out. So this is still supposed to be this dead child. This is a big tsunami wave. This is still supposed to be this dead child going into the into the abyss. And remember, and I'm going to show you. So he's got an eagle feather in his head. So look, it's going into a cave. It didn't just pan out and then transition to another image, right? It's telling you a story. He gets sucked into, it goes from the dead child out the window, gets sucked into the cave. Why? Because the cave represents the afterlife. And the next image that it shows you, look at the smoke coming in front of it, is what? Dun, da, 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 the afterlife. This is an Anubis head. Anubis is the Egyptian god of the afterlife. So it has brought you into the afterlife now. And who's riding in the Anubis headed boat? Their fake Jesus, their Antichrist, who they're going to deceive the whole world into believing is the real Jesus. And if you don't fear God, and if you don't stay walking with God, and if you have pleasure in unrighteousness, like it says in 2 Thessalonians 2, you're going to be deceived. You, you know, people want to save their lives in this world, but they put their souls and their eternity as some second event. Like the, this is the afterthought. Let me prep to stay alive. Man, you got to... You, you got to worry about this stuff. You got to get this stuff in order because don't fear him that can kill your body. But after that, can't do nothing. But fear God who, after destroying your body, can also kill your soul, destroy your soul in hell. I don't care if nobody don't like it. It's the truth. Man, we're going to stand before the Lord. And the world 
you better get used to people not liking what you say if you're going to stand with G with the true Jesus because the world is going to follow this. I'm going to tell you right now, the world is going to follow this fake Jesus as the true Jesus. What was I even saying? It shows him in the aft seat. It shows, look, that's the Anubis headed boat. And then who's riding in the boat? Faco. Faco was riding in the boat. And what happens? He comes out of, okay, we got the, the eclipse and it shakes. The, it, it shakes here. He's, I forgot who said, somebody in the comments that he's uh, the fire correlating to one of those uh what do you call the 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 men that burn up uh it's like an effigy but they would actually have real men in there they would sacrifice them burning man type thing but i forget what they're called uh but uh yeah so here's this easter island eclipse boom the eclipse is over with so presumably the child has has died, quote unquote. Boy, they're going to pull out some Hollywood stuff on you. Boy, it's going to be some Hollywood, boy. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I can't believe all this stuff. You better not believe it. You better not believe it. There's going to be some Hollywood stuff. So now what happens? He comes out of the cave. It's just, it's flipped. He comes out of the cave now. So he went into the cave, which... They're tying it into Jesus's death, burial in the afterlife and resurrection, right? He comes out of the cave in this Anubis headed boat. He's coming out of the afterlife. And that's what all this stuff ties into the afterlife. Because remember the apple, what the apple got cut in half and what the seeds come up and make one of these water lilies. Now, when he comes out, what do you see? The water lilies coming up. So that's the resurrection. See how they tie together? Now, and I've talked about other things, you know, how it correlates to time travel and everything for real, man. Not that time travel is real because it's not, but that's what they're going to tell you. Yeah. So this is another thing right quick that points to the timing of October, uh, here you go. This scene right here correlates to the tank man scene, which happened in Tiananmen Square, which was uh, the Chinese government coming against, you know, the line of tanks coming against the protester who was blocking them. And I think I got it pulled up already. Thought I did. But anyway, y'all remember Tank Man. All right, Tank Man. Here he is. Tank Man was the guy standing in front of the tanks, right? He was a protester. He was blocking them to not let them pass. They were trying to go around. He kept getting in front of them. So that's what this could now. This was a Chinese man protesting against the Chinese government. This correlates to Taiwan, which Taiwan is actually part of China. And the, the United States agreed that Taiwan was part of China. So when the U.S. is arming Taiwan to fight against China and, and all that, and, you know, treating them like a sovereign country as, instead of as part of China, they are betraying their agreement with China. I'm just being real, man. I'm just telling you the truth. You know, I'm not I'm not going to lie to you. This is the U.S. being dirty. Yeah. So that's what this ties into. This is China. Taiwan. OK, that's what it correlates to China invading Taiwan, if you will. And I've talked about the lines on the ground before as well. But I want to show you some timing here. No, I prayed to the Lord. I was like, man, if this if this banged up head is giving me this headache, is 
if you want to take me out of here with this banged up head, so I ain't got to see all this. Whatever you want me to do. All right, so the skeleton grabs her. She turns around. Now, this is what I want to emphasize here. There's other things I could talk about. Well, let's just get straight to the point. Skeleton grabs her, right? We're dealing with China. Fireworks in the background dealing with China. Now, what happens? What China has their holiday, okay? The Chinese, the National Day Fireworks Celebration, which begins October every year, October the 1st through October the 7th, apparently every year. This year, it's October the 1st through October the 7th. Okay, so National Day. So when is the National Day? I'm making a video. The Chinese, uh, I'm trying to find. Okay, this is the national day, October the 1st through October the 7th. So we do have a Chinese holiday where there's fireworks, October the 1st through October the 7th. And this, I think, because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pylons, it could be giving you those days, right? October 1st through October 7th is this holiday in China. You got seven pylons. It just does stuff like that in this video. And on the second, if we take this as October 1st, October the 2nd, behind it, you see the red firework. Well, what have we been talking about this red dealing with October the 2nd, right? So they do stuff like this in this video. The red apple dealing with October the 2nd. Chinese national holiday. There, there, there's issues going on right now over there with China. Look like they're gearing up to invade Taiwan. Uh, so that's what seems to be occurring here. So Chinese national holiday, apparently. The second, it could be a correlation to October the second, as we've been saying. Uh, you know, we talked about the 23, but ties into 723 which was uh it could tie into that which was the revelation 12 sign there's a lot of there's a lot of that in here as well so the chinese national holiday now i want to show you something else right quick and then i'll probably get off of here this scene right here not this but i'm waiting to start all right, this also correlates to the Chinese calendar. You have in the scene, this is an apparent dog, right? You see the dog here. This beside it is a rooster. Now, I know it's it's a young rooster, okay? But it's supposed to represent a rooster. I've been saying this for years. I'm not just coming off the cuff. This is supposed to be a rooster. This is a dog. Why is that significant? Because the Chinese months go, uh, okay. All right, here you go. So what's the, the Chinese months, they go yin and yang, but they also have animals, animals for the particular months. So you have uh, the rooster, it, the month of the rooster is followed by the month of the dog, okay? So when you have that rooster, then dog sequence, that fits with the sequence we see here, the rooster and the dog, okay? Now, uh, and that ties into everything with the time frame, at least to what we were saying, because, all right, the rooster month runs up, until October the 8th, and then the month of the dog begins sometime during October 8th. So you had this time frame up till October 8th, then you got the dog kicking in. So I see that as right there in the vicinity that we're talking about. And it, it zooms in here. This is kind of a presentation of this as well, apparently, because the dog, the rooster and the dog 
deal with yin and yang. Okay. Uh, the dog is yang. The rooster is yin. Okay. So what does that mean? Well, because yin represents feminine and yang represents masculine. All right. I'm not going to. Yang represents masculine. Yin represents the feminine. So I feel like I'm kind of getting in the weeds here. But what I'm saying is rooster dog, yin, yang, feminine, masculine. So you got this figure here, which is a composite of a face down female and a face up male. So this phallus here, which is a lighthouse, is the male. But it's also a female face down, and that's what this is supposed to represent as well. It's actually 12-3, you know, the dragon. It ties into that. But it's supposed to be the woman's parts with a dragon in front of it, the male part. So what I'm saying is this represents the month of the rooster. This part represents the month of the dog. So this would correlate to all the way up to October the 8th, right? This would begin after October the 8th. Now, she's on the, the post-October the 8th side, but she is looking out to the side preceding October the 8th, right? And so it could be indicating she's seeing what's what went on in the month of the rooster right and this looks like the easter the easter island statue face it just always struck me as that it may not be it just just always makes me think of that anyway guys uh i got a headache now please uh please man if you want to get the physical copies God knows I'm not trying to make money off of you, but I want to I want to get the work out there to oppose this so I can be pleasing to the Lord. And I priced them as low as I could on Amazon to the penny and you don't have to buy them. I don't even want you to buy them unless you just want a physical copy. But in a copyright page, I say anybody can reproduce my books and i put the link where the, you can go download the files for free and reproduce the books right, i'm trying to make it easy for it but if you can get the link down below this video in the description box and just you, just the white thumbnails they got the book titles the salvation bible commentary and the armenian bible commentary are the same book they're just named different because everybody don't know what armenian means but if you would just download them and share them and read them Right. And compare and contrast with what is going to be said with this Antichrist agenda so that you can have a, if you will, a debate in front of you. Right. Because the Bible says in Proverbs 18, 17, that the one who is first in his cause seems just. He seems right until the cross. I'm paraphrasing until he's cross examined. Right. Until somebody comes and says, hey, but what about this? So if you just got one person presenting their side, it's going to sound true. Right. And that's why the media and the religious organizations always want to shut people up that try to expose what they're saying as false. Instead of having healthy debates, a lot of time, just sit down and shut up or we're going to cancel your channel or we ain't, we're going to shadow ban you. Man, look how many. Anyway, but I hope you people are not. <laughs> I hope, hope y'all are real people and not bots or trolls. I know some of y'all have been around for a long time. What's up outside the walls? What's up, B-Red? I recognize some of y'all. Um, bright eyes. But, man, especially if you live overseas, I would be so grateful, eternally grateful, if you would just share, download, and share some kind of way. If you find it to be true, then perhaps it is what God, I'm not telling you it's what God wants, but perhaps it would be a work for the Lord to take the baton and run with it and let's oppose this Antichrist agenda together and maybe we can prevent some because the world's going to follow it. 
but maybe we can prevent some from getting destroyed. Not a bite. <laughs> I ain't gotta explain nothing to y'all. If y'all if y'all been subscribed to this channel for a while, y'all we probably got the same thoughts on a lot of stuff. All right, guys. Well, it's good to see all y'all. Uh, I'm gonna get off of here. Thank you, able body. I appreciate that. Australia. Hey, I appreciate Steve. You're in Australia. I didn't know that. Man, I appreciate that, Steve. Uh, and the the books, man. Australia's. I don't know what's up with y'all's currency, man. But when I'm pricing the books. Like, it always makes me price Australia's books high. I'm like, man, I don't even like doing this, but I try to get it as low as I can. But Australia's currency is apparently very weak. All right, guys, I, I got to get off of here, man. I got a headache in my wife's home. Uh, but did, did the video make sense? Did what I was saying make sense? Did any of you follow it all the way through? And did it make sense to you? Uh, man, out of all the years I've been looking at this material, that that correlation, all that on the same day, the Rosh Hashanah, the eclipse, Easter Island, the same day, the uh, the less than three, the the uh, the dragon Pieta has got ten to that whole anagram or this eight God ten to because they're going to say this kid is God. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. All right. I appreciate that, Turkey Doctor. Yeah, I'm going to get off here. I honestly do got a headache, man. All right, guys. Put a link in. Uh, it, it it should be in the description box. I'll double check it and make sure if it's not in there, I'll add it after this is over with. So you might have to come back and check it. But, but I appreciate it. Just test it. You know, I've always said 1 Thessalonians 5, 21, prove all things, test everything. Hold fast to that, which is good. Test it. And if it's true, share it. Uh, don't compromise it. Fear God, man. We're going to give an account. <laughs>